AMC stock is about to make a huge turnaround. But before I do get into why I believe this, make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel because I do talk about AMC stock every single day. So today we close at $4.20. How classic is that? AMC trading at $4.20, basically $0.42 cents before the split. We're nearing all-time lows once again. And yes, it was a red day. We were down 1% today. We were down 3% yesterday. It's been red days and I do see AMC stock still making a huge turnaround. Not financial advice, but I do have two different call options expiring tomorrow. I just bought them today around $4.17. I bought two long call options. Let's see what happens to them. I put in around 60 bucks, not too crazy, but I do really see AMC stock making a huge move up tomorrow. We all know that AMC likes to move a GameStop. GameStop was green almost the whole day, basically the whole day. AMC was red the whole day. So that's something that we don't normally see. GameStop earnings is in less than one week, and I do believe GameStop is going to make a huge gap up as well as amc so yes i am looking at buying more at this level this is officially our all-time low at 360 we're still up about 15 to 20 percent from that level and i don't see us going lower than four dollars though i really don't amc should be going way higher than it is right now just zoom out you know a lot of people are saying oh it doesn't matter amc could keep going low how low you know, we're playing a game of how low can you go here. I mean, AMC is already trading at its all-time lows. And the RSI is actually really high right now. That means people are loading up. People are buying more than they are selling. I've been buying more, me personally, because I mean, guys, AMC is so undervalued. AMC is extremely undervalued. I mean, Dune 2 is doing amazing numbers. AMC Popcorn is freaking gonna be global soon. It's a no-brainer in my opinion, just my personal opinion. None of this is financial advice, but I mean, come on now. AMC at 420, you best believe I'm buying it. That's all I gotta say. So Adam Aaron just tweeted this today. He said, Jason Blum and those at his company Blumhouse are the absolute masters of horror, horror in movies that is, in real life they are truly wonderful people i am so proud amc will showcase some of his best work beginning next weekend all across the u.s halfway to halloween so that's what adam Aaron had to say this guy said under speaking of horrors and then he posted the freaking price of amc stock <laughs> we got freaking a monkey playing the ouija boy that's hilarious so adam Aaron is really just freaking worried about movies i mean he already said it he's just worried about producing movies yes he does care about the stock price but that's not their number one priority here he said it and at the end of the day it wasn't his number one priority when he ran up over 10,000 percent back in 2021 the time will come guys we just have to be patient you know we just have to diamond hand this to the moon we just have to buy the dip uh, that's what i'm doing you know that's what i've been doing i'm really patient i'm not selling my shares anytime soon i will hold to the moon or to zero i'm in this it's a ride or die so Schwab no longer allowing purchase of AMC or GameStop with unsettled cash or margin. This is huge. When asked if I can buy them on margin, the chat became unavailable after I was put on hold. They seem concerned and may be expecting major price movements and share recalls. Note, I don't hold shares of AMC or GME in a margin account, but was fishing for information which was successful. So cash only i don't know if it's just me but i have this feeling man we've been trading sideways for months for months i mean we were up 40 percent we went from 360 to five dollars and it still felt like we were trading sideways how crazy is that stock up 40 percent and we're still trading sideways ken griffin is crapping his pants we are buying more i mean what the hell it's freaking crazy dune part 2 still doing great it was a beautiful film so dune part 2 is barreling towards another box office milestone so the film has grossed 494.7 million globally including 208 million in north america and 289.4 million internationally it should surpass the 500 million mark by monday a figure that few films have reached in the post pandemic times although it's early in the year dune 2 is currently the highest growth film of 2024 at the domestic and worldwide box office after 10 days on the big screen part 2 surpassed the entire domestic tally of the first film 108 million dollars so i mean dune part 2 is going crazy i've been saying on my channel how are theaters dead you know how are theaters dead we got dune part 2 about to freaking cross half a billion dollars in revenue think of all those people that bought amc candy amc popcorn everything i don't know guys i don't understand how AMC is gonna go bankrupt. I don't understand how AMC will ever get delisted from the stock market. I'm buying. I am putting my money in AMC. That's it. There's nothing else to it. This guy said, are you gonna be a part of the AMC wealth redistribution? Or are you gonna sit from the sidelines? These opportunities don't happen every day. And then he added this freaking clip from Eminem. 
You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I think it is so squeezy. I mean, we had boring days. Today was freaking what? We moved like 15 cents. That's really only one penny, one and a half pennies before the split. It, it doesn't make sense. AMC is very quiet. It is very, very quiet. Earnings is coming up for GME. It's going to be huge. And I'm buying more. I am looking at loading up more shares. But that's gonna do it for this little update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Only about 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So make sure to go down and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. As y'all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go.